Hi guys, in this video we're going to go through an example for using the limiting chord process or the definition of a derivative to differentiate a quadratic function. Uh, hopefully you have encountered this algorithm here. If you haven't, I think you should go back to your textbooks and have a look at how this algorithm works and how it fits in with this graph that I've drawn on the left. Now the function that we're going to be differentiating today, f of x, is 7x squared minus 5x plus 11. Now if you guys are aware of the mechanics of differentiation, you will know that the this function's derivative is equal to fourteen. Sorry, forgot the equal sign. Fourteen x minus five. So that's where we've got to end up. It's kind of a bit of a rough guide for us. So what we do is we get this function and we're going to plug it into this algorithm. And what it says is we're going to take the limit as h approaches 0 of the function at x plus h minus the function at x, and we're going to divide that by h. Okay, so hopefully that means something to you. So we're going to take the limit as h approaches 0 of the function at x plus h. Now what we do there is instead of writing x in the function, we write x plus h. So it's going to be 7 bracket x plus h all squared minus 5x plus h plus 11. Then we have to take away f the function at x so which is just 7x squared minus 5x plus, plus 11. Now, it, sometimes we get, it's, people have a tendency to get their negatives mixed up and positives mixed up here, so I'll put that in brackets. And this is all divided by h. Cool. Now, the next step is to multiply out our brackets. So, we've got the limit as h tends to 0 of 7, now this is x squared plus 2xh plus h squared. Now if you don't know how I did that um, binomial expansion, I think you should probably stop this and check that out in your textbook or something. Minus 5x plus Five H plus plus eleven, and then we're going to take that out of the bracket. Minus seven X squared plus five X minus eleven. Now all of that is over. You guessed it. H. So, the last thing we're going to do is completely remove our brackets. So this is going to be equal to, now this gets a little bit laborious, I understand, but it's handy to know when to use this and when you are asked to use it, how it actually works. So we multiply out that first bracket, we have 7x squared plus 14 
x h plus 7 h squared. Then we have minus 5 x minus 5 h plus plus 11 minus 7 x squared plus 5 x minus 11. And that's all over H. Now, that's all looking a little bit crazy at the moment. So what we do now is we, we're going to collect our like terms. So if, as you can see, we have 7x squared minus 7x squared. So they'll cancel each other out. We have negative 5x plus 5x. And we have plus 11 minus 11. So they basically cancel each other out. And now we're left with the limit as h approaches 0 of 14 xh plus 7h squared minus 5h all divided by h. Now, what's good about this is we can then, as you can see, there's a common factor in the top of just h. So this is going to equal the limit of when h approaches, approaches 0 of h outside of 14 x plus 7 h minus 5 all divided by h. Now it should be pretty obvious that we can now cancel out that base which finally leaves us with the limit h tends to 0 of 14x plus 7h minus 5. Cool. Now what this limit means is we then take h in our function to 0 and what that does is it effectively makes the 7h equal to 0 and as a result we can say that the function's derivative is 14x minus 5 which is exactly the same as what we got up here I hope this has helped and uh, see you guys next time.